Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McFoy. I'm your host. And I'm Scott Ram. I am also your host. Yes, and um, we normally have Asaph Adonai on piano, but he's not here today. He's doing whatever Asaph does. Asaph is mysterious. He, I don't know what he does, but he, whatever he's doing, that's what he's doing. But you guys are back. Yes. I've been gone for a week. How was your trip Here I am. Vermont? It was really nice. It was great. I went to Vermont uh, for the first time in 10 years to see my family. That was the first time I'd seen them all in like a decade. So it was great. It was a good time. How long were you there for? Um, I was there for like five days, five or six days. Yeah. I saw, you know, I spent my 4th of July there and my grandparents have this really gorgeous house with in the mountains and all this great property and it's pretty fun. So I had a great time. Yeah. Yeah. And so now I'm back and, um, you know, today is the only day after work and then I have two more days off. So. Well, you know, we're gearing up for our summer camps that we start uh, next uh, next week and mm -hmm. in the two weeks after as well. <laughs> yes. So we've got summer camps starting uh, next week for the next three weeks in a row. So it's going to be very busy for us. Yep. Um, and then the last week of July, actually, we aren't even going to have Wake Up Missoula yeah. because we have such a full day of camps. It's great. But, um, good morning, it's Friday. I hope that you guys all had a great 4th of July, had a great week, and now we're gonna get you geared up for your weekend. Yeah, so so uh, starting first, we got some weather. So let's talk about weather. It is currently 55 degrees outside, but it's pretty nice outside, but let's not let that warn you people, because it's only gonna get colder, wetter, and all over the place, for sure. But of course, uh, you can expect uh, your weather to be um, a 80% chance of showers for your Saturday. And of course, you have thunderstorms likely to happen Saturday night, um, Sunday, uh, the same chance of showers. So it's going to be pretty crazy um, for any farmer's market uh, goings that you may be trying to do. Yeah, why is it so cold? I don't know. It What's just happens. What's going on here? You, you brought it back from Vermont or something? No, it was nice in Vermont. Well, I guess it did rain in Vermont. <laughs> but it's like, oh my gosh. Summer, you know, honestly, our summer has not really been that hot. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, well, we had that heat wave, but that was like towards the end of spring. It's yeah. so weird because we never actually have summer when summer is. It's true. Well, until it's like late J July and early August, and that's the hottest time. And yep. then like always around my birthday in late August, it's always like the hottest days. So hot, And yeah. it's too hot. I'm just like, I don't want to do anything on my birthday. I just want to like stay in and live in my cooler. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's got a cooler bed. It's pretty cool. Like people yeah. have race car oh, beds. Um, Scott has a cooler. Funny bed. story. Like you know, my dad. He's mm -hmm. notorious for signing up for all those little raffles for like mm -hmm. you know bikes and coolers and yeah. all this stuff. He won. Nice. Uh, he always wins something. But um, his biggest wins by date, from what I remember, is he won a flat screen TV. Nice. It's a fifty-four inch flat That's screen TV. Cool. And, uh, of course, when he got it, it was broken, so we returned it, and then he got it replaced. So that Sweet. worked out fine. I thought it was going to be like, oh, it's, you, it's free anyway. Too bad, yeah. Uh, but um, he just recently won a Twisted Tea cooler. Oh, my gosh, It's like cool. a, a big cooler. It's totally legit. It has mm -hmm. a metal lock, <gasps> and, like, it has a little draining plug. You, uh -huh. you know, so you fill, yeah. fill it with ice. And, and you drain uh, it. A certain drink. Um, I, ca I just can't think of it right now. Um, and then you just drain it when you're done with it. And it would be good for, like, the river and stuff. Uh. Great, Scott. That's awesome. I bet your dad is excited. I'm excited for him. <laughs> he cool. wins all the time. He signs up for all the raffles, and then he puts either uh, his kids' names or uh, um, his wife's name in there as well. <laughs> so that's just like all over the place. So but of course, so. you can find out more information about uh, the National Weather Service and your future weather reporting, like we do, by going to nationalweatherservice.gov. Um, of course, but if you want to find more information, you can go to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. That's all all about us you can find uh, past episodes and interviews along with you can like us on our Facebook page you can follow us on our Twitter page at wake up Missoula Missoula community access television also has a Twitter page at MCAT TV Missoula you can like us on Facebook and to find out more information just check us out on MCAT.org yep and it's we do have website. a couple new programs for you oh. guys tonight. I'm going to start off with uh, From Seed to Pantry, an urban garden workshop. But of course, we, we did show this probably about a couple months ago, but I'm going to show you a little bit about it and maybe you can learn something about gardening. Why? Or figure out. But it just comes from really fine-tuned observation. And I've read some things that um, you can kind of take graph paper and map the shade in your garden. Like maybe you know, on a sunny day in Missoula um, this spring, 
if you are around your house, maybe on a Saturday at different times of the day, it could be like if you're around at 9 a.m., noon, 3 p.m., and 6 p.m., you know, kind of like a, a big spread of the day, three hours apart. You can kind of walk out, draw a little diagram of your garden, and at each of those times of day, draw the arcs where like a tree provides shade or your house is making it shaded or whatever it is. And some of that shade. All right. So these are just kind of giving you advice about uh, tips in gardening. And this is like pre-gardening stuff. This is kind of like something that was um, filmed last winter, as you can tell from the falling snow and, and the thick coats. Look. Yeah. Um, of course, ASAF Cafe is on every Thursday, um, usually at, uh, well, every, usually every Thursday at 5.30, but then, of course, it plays again um, Friday nights at around 8.30, and I'm just going to give you a little taste of uh, ASAF with starring um, your very own Scott Ramp in there. Nice. Who was that guy who, who spoke on the church a lot, uh, especially back in the days, you know, he was like an opera, or maybe he was like a singer. And you mentioned him on a I sound like I'm from well. Minnesota. Was that George Beverly Shea? Maybe. The, a little bit. What the guy that sang more... He had glasses. He had thick black glasses. Yeah, and he, he, had, sang, like, this, like, he sang more <laughs> to more people than even Frank Sinatra is what history is Yes. Saying. That's George Beverly Shea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you talked about him. He had quite a rich history, for sure. Yeah, he uh, lived to be 104 years old. <laughs> and at 103, he could still sing. He started showing signs. After a well, like, three. have you met somebody who's over a hundred? They're just like, no. Oh, oh. All right, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, Scott. Asaph always has really, really fun backgrounds for his show. Mm -hmm. His cafe is always somewhere different. So and he's pretty much caught up for. Uh, like, yeah. He could he could uh, like die tomorrow, and then like he has enough shows to air for the rest of the year. Yeah. <laughs> I hope he doesn't die tomorrow, oh, but that could happen. No. <laughs> Come on, don't wish that. I don't wish. We that. love you, Asaph. I said he could. But he won't. Be safe, ASAP. Where are you? Yeah. Where is ASAP? <laughs> we miss you. He, he said he wasn't going to go home last night. It, it's hilarious. I was ASAP like, really? Is, ASAP is getting wild. He's got a phone. He's yeah. been calling his friends. He's been staying over at people's houses. He's, he's a crazy teen. He's a man about town. <laughs> All right. So here is your last. This is another seed to garden from the Missoula Urban De Demonstration Project. And it's also playing. So it's basically playing uh, sandwiched uh, around um, ASAP Cafe. Awesome. And you can learn more about gardening. And this one in particular is about um, transporting um, plant from potted plants to a garden. Ooh, good to know. And I would plant them like a foot to a foot and a half apart just so they have plenty of space. And especially when you're gardening in a small space, it can be really tempting to plant things super close together because um, you want to try and like Never. maximize. Never. Wouldn't, wouldn't dream of it. Um, but it'll make you really susceptible to disease and your yields will be down because stuff doesn't have enough room to grow. So it ultimately isn't in your favor, but I, I understand the temptation. Um, would you? Man, those women are awesome gardeners. They're like the ultimate gardening ladies. Okay, you guys, so I have got events for you, and I actually have Sunday events today, too, because there's so much going on this weekend. So, starting up first at 10.30 a.m., um, there is a Montana Festival of the Horse. This is happening all weekend long over the Missoula Fairgrounds and Events Center. And so it's a three-day horse expo and music festival located in the historic Missoula Fairgrounds and Events Center, like I just said. <laughs> um, and so there'll be a parade of breeds, a trade show, trail rides, and the equine art extravaganza. Um, and so that's all weekend long. If you want more information about tickets or more info in general, go to mthorsefestival.com. At 10.30 a.m. over at the Missoula Public Library's Family Storytime. Uh, it's a theme story time on the Dragon Rug, and sometimes it's got art, art activities afterward. Yeah. And then Tiny Tales is at the Missoula Public Library as well. Uh, this is for a younger crowd. This is for ages uh, birth through three years. They sing songs and they learn finger, learn finger plays and nursery rhymes and stories. Over at Spectrum Discovery area at 11 a.m. is a, uh, they've got their discovery bench, which is motion pictures. And their brain lab is memory and perceptions. Over the Missoula Public Library, they always have great events over the public library. So they've got their kids' table. It starts at 11.30. This is for children ages 18 and under. You can go in and get a free lunch. The feeding begins at 11.30. And then uh, you can also do an activity after. 
At 12, they've got their watercolor painting class with our homeboy, Rob P. Uh, that is at, let's see, where is it? It's in the large meeting room at the library, of course. And then they have yarns at noon for the all you knitters and crocheters to get together and craft and gossip and eat your lunch. I do believe that's in the boardroom. And then our last event for the public library for this afternoon is uh, their teen writers group is at 3.30. That is in the small public uh, small meeting room at the library. This is for grades through, I would think, six through, no, teen writers, so ages up until 18. And you just, you know, write about stuff and chat. Sounds great. Uh, spider feeding is at the Missoula Public uh, Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium, which is across the street from the library. It's Rosie the Chilean Rosehair Tarantula. They feed her every day, every Friday at four. Um, and then over at the Zootown Arts Community Center, we've got a next couple of events over there. First one is a uh, it's a traveling show. It's called Bitter Pill: Montana Lives Affected by Prescription Abuse. Um, so it's an art exhibit that aims to express the human side of prescription drug abuse and recovery. So it's over 30 amateur and professional artists from across Montana have submitted artwork that examines the state's prescription drug abuse epidemic. So that's good. That's gonna be sweet. Um, and so that starts at. 530. They have another hour art uh, gallery opening. This is called Emotion in Motion, Emotion in Motion by Kelly Loader. Um, and so that is their, in their hallway gallery and she is a bipolar abstract artist. And then our last event for the Zootown Arts Community Center is silk screening tonight. That's at 5.30. Uh, no registration is necessary. Just come on by and you can throw some change in their donation jar. Uh, and just bring like a blank t-shirt or uh, a tote bag or something that you want to silk screen or print on. And then we've got some music for tonight. 6 p.m. Britchie is playing at Ten Spood Vineyard and Winery. Carla Bauman will be at the Montana Distillery at 6 as well. There's traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. Worldwide Cinema is at the Missoula Public Library at 7. Um, and that is, they're going to be playing Wondrous Baracchio from Italy. Sweet. Sounds good. Look it up. Um, okay, and then over at the Missoula Winery at 7.30 is a saxophone sextet concert. Um, and so what it's a saxophone chamber music with local musicians and a guest artist who was a sister an assistant professor of saxophone at Sam Houston State University in Huntsville, Texas. It's kind of a mouthful. You had me at sextet. Yeah, great. Who, where'd that voice come from? Just like chasing you. No! Oh man, aren't we fun? <laughs> okay, so then that costs five bucks to get in there. Uh, and then over at the press box, we've got a comedy hour that starts at eight. We have Money Penny is playing the Union Club at 9.30. And Blitz and Trapper is in town. They're playing Top Hat Lounge at 10. They are not free. I don't know how much they cost, but it's probably expensive. Look it up if you want to go. Um, and that's what I've got going on for Friday. And since that ASAF isn't here, I think I'm just going to jump in and continue on with events. So this is what's going on tomorrow, Saturday. So we have our farmer's markets. They are at uh, Pine Street. So Pine Street is across from Thomas Marbar. Now it's not in front of Jimmy Jones anymore. That's the people's market. That'll be there from 9 to 2. We have our farmer's market down at the Red X's. That'll be there from 8 to 1. And then Clark Fork Market is down at Karis Park. And that'll also be there from 8 to 1. Um, okay, so at 8 a.m. is a rally to save and restore the Missoula Mercantile. Um, and so this is kind of, so it'll be in front of the Merc on Saturday, July 9th at 8 a.m. And so what they're going to be doing, they're going to gather in front of the, the Mercantile building along with a 19th century carriage with his horse and the driver and then a dog. So that, I know, I don't, I don't There's know. Dog. Yeah, Zeke the dog so they're just wanting to show support so if you guys want to rally and show support as well and make some noise they're gonna be there great they that actually sounds named cool. the dog in the events yeah nice. yes i they gave the names of everyone wow yeah i know i was like who are these people Okay, but this isn't a fun activity. So uh, Zootown Surfers are doing a two-day intro to kayaking clinic tomorrow. Starting tomorrow at 9 a.m. over at Frenchtown Pond. Um, if you guys want to do this, you can learn how to kayak sunny side up. And then so, yeah, it'll be at Frenchtown Pond. Call 573 
546-0370 if you guys want to sign up. Um, over at Cabela's Missoula, there's a Family Outdoor Adventure Day. This goes from 10 a.m. to 2, and they have a kids' fishing pond, a family archery fun, a climbing wall and inflatable shooting activities, animals' furs and insect identification, fly tying, inflatable kids' slide, camo face painting, and more! Wow, I would think that this is all going to take place at Cabela's because I hear that they have a pond in there and stuff to do. So that sounds sweet. 10 to 2 tomorrow. Um, over the Missoula Community Food Co-op is a Summer Vegetable Lacto Fermentation Demo Day. Great. So what it is, is that they're going to teach you how to make the most of summer vegetable bounty, including pickles, sauerkrauts, beets, and more. It's not canning, it's fermenting, which that's pretty sweet. That's way more cool. Way more fun than uh, canning. So that's at 11 a.m. Yeah, also at 11, uh, over at Traveler's Rest State Park is Wildlife Biology with Rebecca Mowry. And so this is geared towards kids 5 to 10 years old. And it celebrates the outdoors of western Montana and the rich history of the Traveler's Rest site. That's great. Uh, over at the Missoula Art Museum, there is a Saturday Family Art Workshop. They're going to be doing tie-dye tomorrow. Starts at 11 a.m. and goes until 12.30. Bring a clean white cotton t-shirt, a uh, bandana skirt, scarf or tote bag and you can create some colorful tie dyes it's all first come first serve basis and it's free and it's sponsored by community medical center over at e3 convergence gallery is a saturday watercolor class starts at noon class fee is 25 dollars it's two hours um and you have to bring your own supplies or else it's an additional five dollars so it'd be 30 if you don't have your own supplies um, so call 273-8370. Over at the Missoula Butterfly House, you can make your own Montana Native Bug Guide. Starts at noon, it goes until 2. Um, so during this activity, little ones will be able to have a chance to build a native bug guide that they can carry along with them and write their observations for future explorations. That's pretty cute. Um, okay, so this is a recurring event weekly that goes until ob October 1st. They have weekly garden tours and meditation teachings over at Iwam, the Garden of 1000 Buddhas. So starting at 1 p.m., they have a tour, and then at 2, they have a meditation. And that goes every single Saturday until October 1st. Over at MCT, they've got uh, the Pied Piper is a playing with the Missoula, Missoula Children's Theater. So performances are today or tomorrow, uh, and they're at 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Then Travis Yost is going to be playing the Ten Speed Vineyard Winery at 5:30, and then my last event for Saturday is Tango at the Brick Room uh, at the Downtown Dance Collective at 8. So no experience or partner is necessary. There's potluck, food, and refreshments. Um, and you guys, I also have a Sunday events for you, so we're gonna go right on into Sunday. So all that's going on on Sunday, there's a Missoula Marathon and the Half Marathon, and so that is a huge thing. This happens every single year in Missoula, um, and so. So it's French Town to Missoula. So it's a point to point beginning with a scenic route through the countryside and finishing in historic downtown Missoula. So there'll be some streets blocked off. So I have the map for you guys and we're going to take a look at it. So this is the course map for the Missoula Marathon and Half Marathon. So if you see, it starts up here in French Town. So that's good. I mean, and they'll have like markers and cones and stuff that you'll have to check out for. But it'll go all the way down here and the Half Marathon marathon starts right down there and then it'll finish in Missoula so it's always good to pay attention to that because of road closures or if you need to if you're late to work and need to get somewhere and you're realizing oh my god there's a parade or a uh, marathon in our case so it's always good to know so you can check that map out at missoulamarathon.org um, and check out other events so good luck to all those marathon runners and I hope you guys have fun yeah, so that's on Sunday, and that starts at 6 a.m., so you can always line the streets and watch, too, if you aren't going to be there. And cheer them on. They could probably use the support. Another thing that's going on on Sunday, starting at 9 a.m., is a Buddhist studies program that's going to be at the Garden of 1000 Buddhas. Um, and so, what it is, yeah, is, let's see. It's a daily, yeah, it's a Buddhist study 
That's going to be pretty sweet. Look it up on your own. Go to MissoulaEvents.net and then go to Sunday and look up Buddhist Studies Program if you really want to know more. There's a lot of text here and it looks pretty deep and intense. But now you know that that's going on. So if you want to know more about it, just look it up. There's a fly fishing class over at, um, let's see, where is this? This is going to be at 802 South Higgins, Missoula. It's a fly fishing class. It starts at 11 a.m. on Sunday. It's $25 per person. You'll learn the basics of fly casting. They'll also spend time covering the local entomology of Missoula and the skills required to start fishing on your own. Um, and so call 728-7766. It's $25 per person. Um, let's see, okay, and then we have our, over in Drummond, so if you guys want to get out of town, go over to Drummond, they have got their 74th annual Drummond Ra Rodeo, Radio, Drummond Rodeo, it starts at noon, um, and so it's going on all weekend long, so Saturday they've got stuff going on, and Sunday they have their rodeo parade and, their, and the rodeo uh, during that afternoon, yeah, so get on over to Drummond, that sounds fun. Then over at the Bonner Park Band Shell, we have Tuba Christmas in July. Um, and so it's a big brass bash finale concert. We dozens of tuba combined together to bring a wonderfully entertaining light concert. So those crazy tuba guys that go all over the bars during Christmas time are going to be playing at Bonner Park Tuba Christmas in July. Mimosas. Woo! Uh, over at the Clay Studio Missoula on Sunday at 2 p.m., they've got a family clay workshop July session. Um, it runs from 2 to 5. So if you want to get over there, you can call 543-0509. The Pied Piper will be playing again over at the MCT Center for Performing Arts in Missoula Children's Theater. It'll be performing on Sunday at 3 and again at 5. Um, and then we've got some a couple music activities or musical things. 6 p.m. is Sunday Night Jazz with Monk's New Brew at Imagination Brewing Company on Sunday. And then the Ed Norton Big Band will be at the Missoula Winery at 6 p.m. Um, and then the Missoula Public Library at 6.30 has literary trivia. And so what it is, is trivia night curated by the Missoula Public Library. It's hosted at Zootown Brew, located downtown. Um, and so it's going to be, you know, I would think trivia related to books. So that's great. And then we have a one last musical event for Sunday. is Jazz Martini Night at the Badliner at 9. So that's what's going on in your uh, community, you guys. You can check out MissoulaEvents.net. You can check out the University of Montana website, uh, the Independent and the Missoulian for more events happening in your community. But up first, while we switch into gears, oops, I have a art clip for you that prematurely played. So we'll be right back after this. Welcome back. That, that is at the Missoula Art Museum, and it's going to be going on until July 23rd, which mm -hmm. is two weeks. Yeah. So, so two more weeks. Um, the the Missoula Art Museum is closed on First Friday. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. How come? They're doing a new art installation. Ooh. I did show uh, that new art clip, for sure, mm -hmm. the, the boxes. Mm -hmm. I never actually got a chance to see them. 
Oh well. Yeah. But oh, of course, that's interesting. Um, we have one more thing you gotta we want to show you guys before we uh, wrap up for today's show, and that is. Um, um, some of our summer camp um, videos that we shot for our wildlife film camp and this is just a nice little short I shortened down some of the parts and some of the video um, the full video is easily you can watch on our video on demand at mcat.org but of course this is just a little taste of what we did at uh, Kate Davis's Raptors of the Rocky Max likes to attack Sonny, the bald eagle, but Max is also is scratching his face right now. I wonder what's going on with his head. Man, I wonder what it's uh. like to be an eagle. Eagles usually eat other birds, but these eagles seem to be quite nice to each other, except for Max and Nigel. They're just eyeing us down. And also, Max is also trying to get Sunny bald eagle. Max is a golden eagle, Sunny is a bald, and so is Nigel. Nigel is a golden eagle. have many habitats, especially places where they like to attack each other. Jeez, look at Nigel, he's so mean. If I could, I would totally touch these eagles, but they look occupied. And now Sonny is taking a bath. I'm pretty sure he's probably pretty hot because it's so hot out here right now. Um, Kate Davis told us that um, they, always, they only fight when she's when she's there watching them, just like when we were here. Well, thanks. All right, that was pretty much what you guys, um, what we did uh, for wildlife um, film um, camp week. Yes, uh, <laughs> wildlife filmmaking camp festival. I like at the end of the um, the end of the uh, live show that we did. We do mm -hmm. a live show every uh, Friday at the end of the week, which kind of encompasses all the short films and all that stuff. Um, and they keep on renaming the the wildlife film camp. Yeah, they did. They yeah. named it all these different things. It was Thanks really for joining funny. us to the Wildlife Film Camp. It's like we just want to thank everyone for joining us to the uh, Film Wildlife Camp. To now. MCAPs, to MCATS Wildlife Camp. MCAPs. It was all. It was all these different ones. It was super funny, but they were cute. They were a lot of fun. They were a joy. Summer camps really are pretty rewarding, um, even though they are a lot of work. Oh yeah. But we do get paid to like have a bunch of fun. Yeah. So it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. Uh, so our summer camps start next week. So mm -hmm. our hours for MCAT will be limited to Tuesday through Thursday from 5 to 8 for public if you're looking to come in and uh, check out our equipment and of course orientation is next Wednesday at 530 if you guys are interested in taking part and being a part of MCAT you can call us at 542-6228 otherwise known as 542 MCAT you can also email us MCAT at MCAT.org and you can log on to our website uh, MCAT.org for all this and more information there it you is. can also <laughs> like us on our Facebook page uh, you can follow us on our Twitter page at MCAT TV Missoula. Wake Up Missoula also has a Twitter page at Wake Up Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook and find us on our own website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. Yeah. But honestly, if you guys type in Wake Up Missoula on Google, you will find us. Yeah, we're, we're on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll post every, we usually post every little video that we've shown along with the full version of our video, 
wake up Missoula. So yeah. you'll see that today, maybe around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and we'll, you'll be able to rewatch us. And of course, uh, if you miss us online, you can always watch us this afternoon or at, at 2 o'clock. Yep. But uh, uh, for uh, Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And I'm Noelle McFoy, and we're going to Hear It Out by Scott Ramp. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.